What do you mean by A minus B? That means it is a collection of all elements only in A, not in B. A minus B, A intersection B and B minus A are mutually disjoint set because their intersection of any of the two sets will result in null set. The elements which are not in A is present in the universal set. That's why we will take this as U minus A. The difference U minus A will give you the complement of any set. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is your Shruti ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysuru. In our previous session, we have discussing about the operations on set. Mainly, we have studied what is union of sets and intersections of sets. Today, we are going to study some more operations which we perform related to two or more sets. The very first one is difference of set. So, the name itself says difference means difference of elements inside the set. So what do you mean by difference of the sets now? The difference of the sets A and B is the set of all element which belongs to A but not B. So and it is usually denoted by A minus B which is read as A minus B now. So what do you mean by A minus B? That means it is a collection of all elements only in A not in B. That means let me take an example set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and set B is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So now I said you need to write only the elements which are in A but not in B. So I will usually denote the difference by A minus B. See the common elements present in A and B. What are the common elements present in A and B? That is 3, 5 and 1. So 1, 3, 5 are the common elements in B. That means the elements is also in A and it is also contained in B. But when I say A minus B, I need to write only the element which is in A but not in B. So what are the element only in A? That is 2, 4 and 6. So these are the elements which is only in A but not in B. So that is the definition of A minus B or the difference A minus B. This can also be written in another form B minus A. So what do you mean by B minus A? Elements only in B but not in A. That means what are the elements only in B? That is 7 and 9 or the only elements in B but they are not in A. So how do we represent it in Venn diagram? So I already told you so this is how we will represent a universal set with rectangle and the set with the circles. Now write the common elements of two sets inside the oval. What are the common elements we have? 1, 3, 5. So 1, 3 and 5 should be written inside the oval. Now consider this as circle A, this as circle B. Now in circle A, already the elements 1, 3, 5 is written. The only elements left are 2, 4, 6 which you have to write outside the oval. Next, consider the circle B. So when I consider the circle B here, already I have written 1, 3, 5 inside the circle. The only element left is 7 and 9. So then how we will represent A minus B or B minus A with a Venn diagram? So when I say A minus B, that includes only the region containing 2, 4, 6. So clearly this region 2, 4, 6 will gives you the region A minus B. So this is your A minus B. And when I say B minus A, that is containing only 7 and 9. The region containing only 7 and 9 will represents B minus B. So this is B minus A. Then what is this? This is your A intersection B. So that's why difference of sets is nothing but an element which is in the first set but not in the second set. So this is how we will define the difference of the two sets. Now let's take few examples for difference of sets. Let A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. B is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8 find A minus B and B minus A. So when I say A minus B, so A minus B means 
elements in A, elements in A, not in B. That means elements which you choose to write in A minus B should be present only inside the set A, but it should not present inside the set B. So that's why A minus B means, so for that reason, remove all the common elements which is present in both the set. So 2, 4, 6 are the common elements here. So when I write A minus B, only elements in A which is not in B are 1, 3 and 5. So therefore it is 1, 3, 5. And B minus A is elements only in B, that is 8, because 2, 4, 6 are contained in set A, so we cannot choose those elements. Next, let V is equal to A, E, I, O, U, B is equal to A, I, K, U, find V minus B and B minus V. So what is V minus B? V minus B, remove the common elements, what are the common elements? A, I and U. So A, I and U we will remove from both the set. When I say V minus B, the only elements which are present in V is E and O. And when I write B minus V, it is the element K. So remember V minus B cannot be equal to B minus V. They are completely different. Next, the difference of the two sets A and B can be represented by the Venn diagram as shown here. So I have drawn it and shown and this is a representation of A minus B and B minus A. So here I have taken a universal set U and clearly you can see this complete circle gives you the set A and this complete circle gives you the set B. So the region which is shaded with red only gives you a minus B and the region which is shaded through blue gives you the elements in B minus A and the oval which is at the center gives you that A intersection B and you can clearly see here whether you write A minus B or A intersection B or A B minus A. All these three are disjoint set. That means when you take the intersection of these two sets, whether you take A minus B and A intersection B or A intersection B and B minus A or A minus B and B minus A, you take intersection of any pairs here, the intersection is always empty. That's why they are mutually disjoint set. That is A minus B, A intersection B and B minus A or mutually disjoint set because their intersection of any of the two sets will result in null set. Let's take an example. A is equal to 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. B is 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. C, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 and D is 5, 10, 15, 20. We need to find out the following difference of the sets here. They have given A minus C. A minus C means I need to consider set A with set C. So write only the element which is present in A but it should not present inside C. So let's write the element. So we can write 3 because it is not in C. We cannot write 6 because it is inside C. We can write 9 there, 12 we can't write, we can write 15, we can write 18, 21 because 6, 12 are inside the set C. So therefore except 6 and 12 I can write all the other elements inside A minus C. Next, we will take B minus A. B minus A means you need to write only elements of B which are not in A. Now, write the set B but remove the common elements. So, therefore, B minus A. So, consider set B and set A. So, we can write 4 here because it is not in A. We can write 8 because it is not in A. We can't write 12 because it is inside set A. We can write 16 and we can write 20. So this is the set B minus A. Next we will take D minus A. We are taking this set with this set. You can see phi is not there in A. So therefore we can write phi. We can write 10. 
but we can't write 15 because it is inside set A, we can write the element 20. So therefore, the only elements which is present in D not in A is 5, 10 and 20. The next one is here D minus C. D minus C means you need to write the elements of D which are not in C. So only 10 is present in C, other than that we can write all other elements. So therefore, we can write 5, 15 and 20. So these three elements gives you the set D minus C. Next, if X is equal to A, B, C, D, Y is equal to F, B, D, G. What is X minus Y? Y minus X, X intersection Y. So X minus Y means only in X, not in Y. So only in X means except B and D, we have A, C in X minus Y and Y minus X means remove BD because it is common. We have only F and G. Now we will take the intersection of these two sets. Intersection elements means the common elements. What are the common elements in both the set? B and D. Look here, none of the sets have the common elements. That means you take X minus Y intersection with Y minus X or X minus Y intersecting with X intersection Y or Y minus X intersection with x intersection y. x minus 1 is AC. When you intersect AC with FG, there is no common element. So therefore, this set is empty. When you intersect FG with BD, there is no common element. Again, this intersection of set is also empty. When you take FG and BD, so there is no element here. So again, this is completely an empty set. So therefore, clearly all these three are disjoint sets and hence we can represent them diagram that is this gives you y minus x and this gives you x minus y and the middle one is your x intersection y. All the three are disjoint or we can say pairwise disjoint. Next question, if R is the set of real numbers and Q is the set of rational number, then what is R minus Q? I already told you the set of real number is a union of rational and irrational number. That is when I take real number as a universal set, the half of it is rational and the remaining will be irrational. When I remove R minus Q means when I remove the set of rational number from the real number, the answer for this thing that is R minus Q will be J that is the set of irrational number. Next one is the complement of a set. So what do you mean by this complement of a set? Complement of a set A is nothing but element which is not inside A. We know that the universal set is represented by a rectangle and any subset of universal set, let me take set A is represented inside the circle that is elements of A are written inside the circle here. Then what is its complement? I said complement is nothing but elements which are not in A. That means it has to be outside the circle. So therefore, this portion of the region will give you the set that is the complement of set A which is denoted by A dash. So here I have taken an example. Let U be the universal set consisting of all prime numbers. That means your set U is the set of all prime numbers that is 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 etc. Next, I need to take the subset of U. Any set which you are deriving from U is nothing but the subset of U. Let A be the subset of U which consists of all those prime number that are not divisors of 42. So from here, what are the numbers which are not divisors of 42? So 2 is a divisor of 42, so we can't write. 3 is a divisor of 42, we can't write. 5 can be written. 7 is a divisor of 42, but 11... 13 is not a divisor of 42. So like that, all odd prime numbers after that are not prime divisors of 32. So this is your set A now. So that is set A is not divisors of 42. So these are the numbers which are not divisors of 42. Then what is your A dash? A dash is nothing but 
u minus a that is you are subtracting all the elements of a from the universal set. If you subtract all the elements from the universal set here you will get you should cancel 5, 11, 13 and all the odd numbers after 13 will get cancelled and only remaining elements are 2, 3, 7. So this is the complement of the given set. Thus for every a there is its complement whenever universal set is defined. So therefore, the elements which are not in A is nothing but your complement of a given set. Let me show you few more examples. When I say universal set is the set of real numbers and I will take Q which is a subset of U. Then what is your Q dash? We know that Q is the set of all rational number. So rational number means, so I need to find out the complement of Q. So we know the real number set is the union of rational and irrational. If real number has the rational number inside it, then the complement of rational number is your irrational number. That is set J containing irrational number. So let me take one more example. X is equal to a, E, I, O, U. So this is the set of ovals in English alphabets. If I want to write the complement of X dash, so I need to take down all values of X where X is not oval in English alphabets. X is not oval. So that is your complement of a set. When I take U is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and set A is equal to subset U A should be the subset of U that means let me take 2 6 so this is a subset of U then what is your A dash A dash is nothing but elements which are not in A where we will find the element which is not in A inside the universal sets that means it is common elements you should remove what are the elements which is not in A now? That is 4, 8, 10. Thus, the definition of A dash is nothing but U minus A. The elements which are not in A is present in the universal set. That's why we will take this as U minus A. The difference U minus A will give you the complement of any set. So thus we have a definition here, let U be the universal set and A be a subset of U. That means all the elements of A must present inside the set U. Then the complement of the set A of all the elements of U is nothing but the elements which are not inside A or not in A and it is usually denoted by A dash. Always remember A dash is also subset of U because when I say U minus A, your A dash elements are also contained in A. So that's why when A is a subset of U, then A dash is also subset of U. But the only thing is A contains the element which is not in A dash and A dash contains the element which is not in A. So thus we define the complement set A dash as all the elements which is inside the universal set but not inside the set A. So definition follows like this a dash is nothing but u minus a so let's look at the examples now let u is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and a is 1 3 5 7 9 find a dash i already told you a dash is nothing but u minus a that is elements which are not in a so what are the elements which are not in A here? We have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Except 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, you have to write all the elements from the universal set. So remove 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 from the universal set. We will get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So this will give you the complement of the set A. When I write this through Venn diagram, this is how it, it looks. So set A contains the element 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and the remaining element has to be written outside the circle that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. This complete rectangle containing all the numbers will represent the set U and this is A dash. So outside this we have the element 
a dash. So this is our set a dash that is the shaded region represents the elements of a dash that is complement of set a. Next let u be the universal of all the students of class 11 of a co-educational school and a be the set of all girls in class 11 find a dash. So you have class 11 girls form one subset of class 11 boys form another subset of class 11 when i delete all the girls the remaining will be the set of boys that is if a denotes the set of all girls here then what is a dash a dash denotes the set of all boys clearly we can say a dash that is the set of all boys is the complement of the set containing set of girls inside class 11 Next, the complement of A dash of a set can be represented by a Venn diagram as shown. So, I already told you the shaded region clearly represents the element which is not present inside A. That is why it is written outside the circle, inside the rectangle and hence that denote the complement of the given set. And elements of A are in U. That is why we say A is a subset of U. You can also observe that elements of A dash is also inside the universal say that is why we call A dash is also subset of U. Next let U is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A is 2, 3. B is 3, 4, 5. Fine. A dash, B dash, A dash intersection, B dash, A union, B and hence find out that A union B whole dash is A dash intersection B dash. So first let us find out A dash. What is our A dash? A dash is nothing but U minus A. That means you need to subtract the universal set with 2 and 3. Now remove the elements 2 and 3 from the universal set. That is we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, minus 2, 3. Now remove 2, 3 here. So when you remove 2, 3 here, the remaining elements are 1, 4, 5, 6. So this will give you the set A dash. Similarly, the set B dash is nothing but U minus B. That is you need to subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 with set B. That is 3, 4, 5. So you need to delete 3, 4, 5 from the universal set. So the remaining elements are 1, 2 and 6. The next thing is we need to find out what is A dash intersection B dash. So A dash intersection B dash means we need to intersect it. 1, 4, 5, 6 intersecting with 1, 2, 6. So we have the two sets A dash and B dash here. So let us intersect them. When you intersect them, the common elements you can find is 1 and 6. Remember, intersection is nothing but writing the common element present in both the sets. Next, we need to find out A union B. So what is A union B? Clearly, you can see A union B. A union B means you have 2, 3, 4, 5. That is writing all the element present in any one of the two sets either in A or B. So therefore the elements of A union B are 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I need to show that these two are equal. Now here I have A union B but I need A union B whole dash. A union B whole dash is nothing but U minus A union B. What is U we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. A union B we found that it is 2, 3, 4, 5. Let us subtract it. So that is 2, 3, 4, 5. Now let us subtract. That is remove the common elements 2, 3, 4, 5 from both the sets. So write the remaining elements that is 1 and 6. Now clearly see it is your A union B whole dash. We got A union B whole dash as 1 comma 6. Take it as equation 1. The next thing they have asked a to show that A dash intersection B dash will also result the same. Clearly you can see here I got A dash B dash as 1 comma 6. So therefore here we have A dash intersection B dash is also 1 comma 6. Take it as equation 2. So from equation 1 and equation 2 we can prove that 
a union b o dash is equal to a dash intersection b dash. So this is how we can prove the complement of a sets in terms of statements. Next one, some properties of complement sets. We have learned the properties of union and intersection. So here also we have this few properties for complement of a set. The first one is the complement loss. What is this complement loss? It says that A union A dash always results in universal set. Why? Because when I take a universal set and it sets. So here is the element inside A dash and here are the elements of A. We know that elements of A cannot coincide with A dash and elements of A dash cannot coincide with A. But when you take all the elements, it is compiling the universal set. So it's comparing universal set now. So therefore we can say the union of the set and its complement that is A union A dash is always universal set. And I said no elements can coincide with A and A dash. That means there is no common elements between A and A dash. That is why when you take the intersection of A and A dash, that is the set and its complement, it is always empty set. Next we have De Morgan's law. So what does De Morgan's law states? A union B whole dash is a dash intersection B dash. That is the complement of A union B is equal to the intersection of A dash and B dash. The second law says that A intersection B whole dash is A dash union B dash. That is the complement of A intersection B is equal to union of A dash and B dash where A dash and B dash represents the complements of set A and set B respectively. The next law says that law of double complementation. When you take a double complementation or when you take the complement of a set twice, you will get back the same set. That is A double dash is equal to A. Uh, for example, we know that R is a set of real number. We have Q as a set of rational number. Then what is Q dash? Q dash is a set of irrational number. What is Q double dash? So that means we are taking the complement of J dash which is nothing but Q. So we will get back the same set again. So when you take a double complementation you will get back the same set. The next thing is law of empty set and universal set. So what do you mean by an empty set? Set which contains no element. Then what is the complement of empty set? The set contains all the element. Which is the set containing all the elements? That is universal set. That's why complement of empty set universal set. Complement of universal set is empty. Because universal set contains all the element, its complement should not contain any element. That's why it is empty. Next. Let u is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. a is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. b is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8. And c is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6. We need to find the following sets here. That is a dash, b dash, a union c whole dash. What is a dash? a dash is u minus a. Write the elements present in u which is not in a. I can't write 1, 2, 3, 4. So except 1, 2, 3, 4, I can write 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Next thing is we need to write B dash. B dash means which is not inside A. That is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Next we will take A union C dash. First we will find what is A union C. That is elements in A as well as C. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So these are the elements in A union C. Then we will take the complement A union C whole dash. A union C whole dash means which is not inside A union C. So that is the elements 7, 8 and 9. Next one, taking the set of natural numbers as the universal set, write down the complement of the following set. We need to take natural number as the universal set. So your u is now n. Let's see the first set, it's a set of even natural number. Then what is the complement of this set? That is x is 
an odd natural number. So this is the complement of given set here. Second one is x is a positive multiple of 3. We know that natural numbers are always positive. So when I say positive multiples of 3, we need to take 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, etc. So what is the complement of this set then? x is not multiple of 3. Not multiple of 3. Since we are taking the set as natural number, no need to write it is not positive multiple. We can just write it is not a multiple of 3. Next one, x is prime number. So obviously, x is not a prime number we should take. We cannot write x is a composite number because 1 is neither prime nor composite. That's why we need to write x is not a prime number. Next we have, if u is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, a is 2, 4, 6, 8 and B is 2, 3, 5, 7. We need to verify the given De Morgan's law here. That is A intersection B whole dash is A dash union B dash. First let us write what is A intersection B. So A intersection B means the common elements in A as well as B. So the only common element in A and B is 2. Now let's write the complement of A intersection B dash. Where you will get the complement of A intersection B dash? in u. That's why element 2 cannot be written here. So 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So let me take this as equation 1. Now let's write a dash. a dash is element not inside a that is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Next we will take b dash. b dash is the element which is not in b that is 1, 4, 6, 8 and 9. Now let's take the union of these two. That is A dash union B dash. Union means writing all the elements inside A dash as well as B dash. That is 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Clearly you can see equation 1 and 2. We can conclude that A intersection B whole dash is equal to a dash union B dash. A statement from D Morgan's law. Next we have fill in the blanks to make each of the following a true statement. We need to fill the answers here. What is A union A dash? We have already learned the union of the set and its complement is universal set. Second statement he given here is phi dash intersection A. First, what is phi dash? That is complement of empty set. Complement of empty set is universal set. When you take universal set intersection with its subset, the answer results with A because A is a subset of U. Next, A intersection A dash clearly it is empty because none of the elements in A or A dash is common. Next, we have U dash intersection A. Complement of universal set is empty set. When you are intersecting any set with empty, the answer is empty because we know that empty set is a subset of every set. So this is all about the complement and difference of the sets. We'll meet you in the next session. Until then, keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.